Uh, Sanborn. Uh, firstly, let me greet our hosts, Pastor Emmanuel and Mother Brenda. His Worship, the Mayor of Mzinyati, uh, Councillor Guban, Elderman, in fact. Uh, Babuzin. Other pastors, Mbwana Babu Mkiza Lapaya. The choir. That opened here, the people of Destiny Choir. I think they took this service to a certain level. They raised the bar. Let's give them a, a good hand. Of I've been hearing, because I'm an African, I've been hearing that uh, there is a language called Swahili. But I haven't been exposed to such a language. But I can boast today that uh, I'm a Swahili linguist. Uh, I, I can sing in, in Swahili. Let me congratulate this church for being the international church. When you look at the flags behind me, they reflect not only Africa. You can see here the Union Jack as well. You can see, I think, the Australian flag, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it, it shows the international nature of this church, that uh, you are welcome here. When I heard the lady who spoke earlier saying she's from Zimbabwe, there are some Zambians, there are some Congolese, there are different types of people that are here. It reminds me of a few years ago when we were faced with a challenge in Greytown of uh, xenophobic attacks going on, where Pastor Emmanuel, and I was one of that group of people who, who said, no, this, this must stop. And we, 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 we organized a march, including the mayor, uh, of walking the streets of Greytown saying, no, we don't accept that. People who don't know their history, are easy to, it's easy for them to throw stones. But people who have been exposed to the history and who have actually traveled the world and seen other places, so other people don't easily throw stones. I was given 10 minutes. I think I've taken only 30 seconds. I'll now continue. Uh, <laughs> thank you. We congratulate the people of Destiny as members of uh, the community of Greytown. We congratulate the work that has been done by Pastor Emmanuel and Mama Brenda. I've been watching them as well, Babu Zim. Uh, I, I was wondering what this pod was all about. Until I met uh, Babu, uh, uh, Pastor Emmanuel came to my office the other day. And then he explained to me, he said, pod doesn't mean pod misspelled. It means people of destiny. And then whilst reflecting about what destiny means, Destiny talks about the direction. That is the D of destiny. You know where you are going. You, you know where you are being directed to. Hence, there is this D in destiny. E of uh, destiny talks about people who are empathetic. Empathy is very important in the Christian way of living. As of this destiny addresses the issues of spirituality. You know, if you know that you are going home, you are going to get solace, you are going to get uh, uh, being comforted, you go to that particular place. I think the issues of spirituality are being addressed quite well in this church. I've been here a few times and I've really actually enjoyed 
the services that I've, uh, 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 I've been exposed to. And more so lately, you must have seen the His Majesty the King in one of those photos there with the Pastor Ima, Emmanuel. Uh, we traveled together to, to the Royal Palace in Guavuma with the Pastor Emmanuel and our American friend uh, to pay homage to our king, His Majesty the King. And uh, on our way there, I had an opportunity of actually being exposed to the Zambian way of life. With Pastor, we even went to the point of knowing that Pastor Nkuma, in fact, their originality is from Zululand. They are Zambians, but they are Zulus by originality. Zwangendaba, going up straight up to that particular area where they, 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 they have a king called King Mpezen. Uh, we are trying to, 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 to facilitate for what we call the, the intercultural exchange program between Zambia and South Africa so that people from Zambia may be able to visit uh, as tourists or as cultural activists our country. T in destiny talks about tranquility. You can't go to a place of God and find people fighting each other. This is the place of reflection, the place where you need to sit in silence, meditate, and be closer to your God in a tranquil environment. So therefore, tranquility is very important. I of destiny means about inspiration. Going there to be inspired. When you come out of this church, you must be a different uh, human being altogether. You must be prepared to live peaceably. Not peacefully, but peaceably with other people. And for destiny means being nurtured. You must be nurtured. You must be nourished. You must get some spiritual food. In other words, when you come out of this church, there is one thing that you must praise, that I'm being nurtured. And why he's talking about these young people that were here, the, 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 that were dancing. In fact, I'm young at heart as well. I almost jumped in here, but I said uh, some of you will be very jealous about the moves that uh, our practice with uh, the young people of this church. So my wife helped me. I said, no, I'm going. She said, no, 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 you'll disappoint the rest of everybody here because they'll see your your slick moves. So I right, I said, okay, keep, keep on dancing, children. Why also means yielding to the will of God. You must be prepared to yield to the will of God. I'll end uh, my talk with a quotation from, I like reading, from this book called 491 Days, prisoner number 1323, stroke 69. That is Winnie Matigizela Mandela, who got separated at a very young age with, his, with her family. Nelson spending about 27 years of his time in prison. There is, in this book, a chapter where Nelson Mandela wrote a letter because this is about all the letters, the correspondence, some of them that were, were held back between Winnie and Nelson. Uh, some of those letters got to her, some of, this, of, of those letters did not get to her. I'll read uh, on page 165 where he wrote to his children. Nelson wrote the dream of every family is to live together happily in a quiet, peaceful home 
where parents will have the opportunity of bringing up the children in the best possible way, of guiding and helping them in choosing careers, and of giving them the love and care which will develop in them a feeling of serenity and self-confidence. Today, our family has been scattered. Winnie was in jail. Nelson was in jail. Mommy and Daddy are in jail, and you live like orphans. We should like you to know that these ups and downs have deepened our love for you as children. We are talking about Zinzi and Zinani. We are confident that one day our dreams will come true. We will be able to live together and enjoy all the sweet things that we are missing at present. Tons and tons of love, my darlings. Daddy, that was Nelson, to his children. Family life is the basis of good communities. I hope this church continues to throw, albeit a small stone or a small pebble. It makes the difference in the sea. There is a small wave that you won't see. Children are the future. Families are the future. We must encourage that we have strong families. Congratulations to you, Babu Pastor Nkoma, on behalf of the Great Town community as a member, like you asked me, and Mama Brenda. May you enjoy the next 10 years. Thank you.